All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving question 22 from the first chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook. And we have an axial load P that is supported by a short column of cross sectional area of 11.7 inches squared. So we have a type of column WA times W8 by 40, which is not really important in here. What we care about is the area that we have in here for that column and is distributed to a concrete foundation by a square plate. As we can see, we know that the average normal stress in the column must not be. So the first given that we have is the average normal stress in the column, which cannot exceed 30 KSI. So that's one given that we have in here. And we also know that the bearing stress on the concrete must not exceed 3 KSI. So we have the bearing normal stress of the concrete. We can show it with B slash concrete. This cannot exceed 3 KSI. So in this one, we need to determine the side A of the plate that will provide the most economical and safe design. So it will be economical when we have the least material used, or in other words, we have a plate A by A. It will be economical when we have the minimum for A, and also we have to pick that A in order to have a safe design. So let's start with the first part where we have the, the average normal stress of the column cannot exceed 30 kilopascals. So we have the average normal stress of the column, which would be basically the force that we have in here, P over the area. We know this cannot exceed 30 KSI. So let's just go for the, for the maximum for now. And whatever value we have less than that uh, would be safe for us. So let's go with the 30. And we basically have our P is equal to A times the 30 KSI that we have for the maximum of this stress. So we already know A is 11.7 inches squared times 30 KSI, and that's going to give us the force P in kips. So 30 times 11.7, that's going to be 351 kips, which is going to be the force that we have, or we should say the maximum force that the beam can tolerate. So obviously we have the same force in the concrete foundation too, but we have different area which is kind of related to A that we need to figure out. So if you want to go with, for the bearing stress on the concrete foundation, so we have the same force P, but we have different area in here. We can show this area with area of the, uh, we can go with the area of the plate in here. So AP. So as I said, we have the same P in here and this cannot exceed 3 KSI. So here we have the maximum force that we have in here, which is the force P. And if we want to find the area of the plate, we basically have P divided by 3 KSI, which is the maximum uh, bearing stress in the foundation. And that way we can find our area, which if we look at it is basically the area of this plate. And that would be a square. So A squared is our area that we are interested. And again, since we are going with the maximum force that can be in the system or the maximum stress that's going to be produced in this system. So we're going to get our area a minimum, which would be the minimum area that we were looking for in order to be economical. So the force P in here is the same force, 351 kips. And that's going to be over 3 KSI. And that way we can find the area in inches squared. So 351 divided by 3. So 117.35 inches squared. And if we want to find the, the side of that plate that we have, we basically have the square root of 111.35. So we're just going to have the square root of 117.35 which is going to be 10.83 inch and the final answer for this question obviously that would be the minimum a that we have anything above this should be good but we are trying to be economical in this question and this dimension would be safe to uh, satisfy the conditions that we have for the stress hope everything made sense let me know if, if you guys have any questions feel free to drop it in the comments so we are covering 
different textbooks in this channel, feel free to check out the playlists. And let me know if you have any specific problem in your mind that you want me to cover it in the next videos. And yeah, you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.